the number three is help your children find God for themselves. Na hakuna order. Unajua unaweza sema kwa nini umesema ya God number three na ingekuwa ya kwanza? Hakuna order. Help your children find God for themselves. Watu wengi wana struggle in their spiritual life because they never found God for themselves. There is something I thank God for up to today. Niliambia wale tulikuwa na wao wana choir, me I was not raised in a Christian home. There was alcohol in my home, there was changa, there was busa, my mother used to drink alcohol. Ile time ungeenda kanisa ni pengine umemaliza kazi yote na umeboeka na ulikuwa unatembea, ukaona watu hapo kanisa but I was not raised in the church. So I gave my life when I was in Form 1, I was baptized in Nairobi Central Church in Form 1. I found God for myself. And some of the things we go through in Isaiah were very painful, but I thank God because mimi nikisema I know whom I have believed. It is not the God of my mother, it's not the God of my father, it's God that I have found for myself. So we need to help our children to find God for themselves. Sometimes sisi kama wa Kristo wa Adventista huwa tuna spoon feed our children so that they get to a point yeye mwenyewe ukimuuliza what do you believe in anasema mimi naenda tu kanisa juu wazazi wanaenda ama naenda kanisa juu stack conflict stack vita najua ni spoenda kanisa kutakuwa na vita but the question is all of us go through challenges when your child faces challenges in life will he say will his anchor hold mtoto atakimbilia Mungu ama atakimbilia drugs ama atakimbilia wrong company because they never knew God for themselves it is good to pray for our children but it's 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 more important to teach them wajombe when they come running to you usiku wameota na wameogopa my son used to come akiniambia ame ame dream siju kuna monster i think because of cartoon they watch kuna monster kuna demon siju kuna nini kwa rumi yake anakuja anakimbia kuja kulala kwa kitanda yangu so nilikuwa namuuliza umeomba umeambia mungu so i told him god is nearer to you me i'm in another bedroom Mungu wako kwa bedroom yako. What you do first of all pray to God. Mwambie God, I this is a demon please protect me. Siku mwambie hakuna demon because yeye mwenyewe anasema ameiona. Anameona hiyo monster. So if I start telling him no there is no monster, ataona kama simuelewi. Namwambia okay, you've seen it. Have you told God? So nikamwambia God is nearer. By the time unakimbia kwa rumi yangu, hata unaweza jinoki uanguke, ambia Mungu kwanza. So anamwambia God please protect me. The second thing nikampatia Biblia. Nikampeleka the book of 2 Timothy chapter chapter 1 verse 7. It says for God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power of love of a sound mind. I say take your bible, say that verse, put your bible under your pillow, pray to God. Bado kama umeogopa na bado ukiona hiyo monster then come to me. The boy has never come to me after that. Nikamuuliza kwani leo monster akuja akasema ilisha. The moment he prayed, he put the Bible, he claimed that verse, he did not need me. So I worked myself out of a job. Work yourself out of a job. Many of us struggle with integrity because we don't know where we are going. You don't know whom you have believed. People mislead you, they sweep you with any wind of doctrine na wewe unaamini unasikia ati kuna preacher ameniambia ati oh maybe i take my bible niekelee sijui wapi na nitapata pesa ama preacher anasema shika simu tingiza simu sema mungu anitumie pesa leo na mpesa itakuja itoke wapi na unaona imagine whole christians amechukua simu anatingiza hivi naambiwa na, and god is going to send sema this and they believe ati mpesa itakuja itoke wapi by the way iyo iyo verse we umetoa wapi have you read the bible it really disturbs me ujue among the communities in this country watu wenye wako kwa cult sana ni wakisi na waluya did you know that hiyo tutaongea ni kwa nini baadaye it's another session but kwa wakisi unajua yale makanisa yako kwa wakisi i cultic churches mingi because it's very easy for us na unapata watu wametoka adventists wanaenda kuombewa kule wanaambiwa sijui nyoka sijui nini have you been reading the word do you understand what does god say 
Unapata mtu unasema ati oh pasta akaniambia pasta akaniambia but I'm just asking you what does God say? What does the Bible say? Because the pastor can tell you this. Young people especially kama kuna mtoto wamekuwa misled saa zingine hata na pastors wa kanisa they mislead you even me whatever i'm telling you read your bible interrogate what i'm telling you don't take it as a gospel truth in another church in nairobi kuna another pastor an adventist pastor alienda kama meeting akaambia young people i'm not naming any name but the young people told me akawaambia ya kwamba you if you are 25 and you are not married that is the end for you for sure i was told during the camp meeting last year wasichana watu waliambiwa hivyo imagine camp meeting ilisha wasichana wakaenda wakiolewa na takataka kwa barabara they i'm telling you they went they picked anybody so when this girl talked to me already sijui alikuwa ameolewa akapata mtoto huyo mtu aka she picked anybody because she was told they were told the blessing of the lord haiko kwako kama uko 25 na hujaolewa which bible are you reading whether this person is ordained anointed whatever it is me i'm just asking what bible are you reading so sana sana many people target young women young girls with children because they know culture is telling you you are used to goods and you're not culture is telling you it's too late for you culture is telling you, you have no belonging then you go picking anybody some have picked somebody a year later you have a child you are hiv positive now what is that and the child is hiv positive one preacher another preacher ha- came he's not um he's is black but he was from another country another continent i'm trying to protect his identity he has been on social media he came and there was a church that he had been preaching in nairobi this man this man of god a pastor a black person but he's not originally from africa this person was preaching and especially he liked talking about mambo ya relationships mambo ya family mambo ya nini nini so one of the ladies alienda a single lady akona mtoto she really wanted to get married so she went to him the man wakaanza to pray and fast together first of all boundaries boundaries so they went wakaanza kuomba pamoja then this man akamwambia unajua for it to be very effective eh? Meanwhile to 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 kiomba unakuja kwangu alikuwa anakaa in an apartment a furnished apartment in Nairobi namwambia unakuja kwangu jioni after ume fast unakuja kwangu jioni so you know what i'm talking about the lady alikuwa anaenda kwake this man ana mu exploit sexually wa kiomba kimuombea apate 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 husband i told this lady when she told me nimwambia expose this person because akona hiyo tree He sleeps with so many ladies and our exploit akijulikana anaenda another country. So I said can't you expose this person ajulikane? Alimfanyia hivyo. Then akasikia ya kwamba this lady had a property. The man akamwambia I need some money. Utanikopesha pesa fulani ukiuza hiyo property. Aliuza hiyo property the man took the money. Alafu akam block. I'm telling you he exploited her sexually in the name of kumuombea apate bwana. So I remember when I was telling saying that story. Nilikuwa naambia my son your story akaniambia I'm more disturbed that the lady believed him. My son said it's okay this man is going around and asema hivyo but akaniuliza but this lady she was born in the Adventist church. She has gone from cradle roll to adventurous to pathfinder to master guide to ambassadors to youth. She has been married church wedding in church divorced with a child. Sasa saa hii anaambiwa kitu kama hiyo na huyo mtu na anaamini so my son was saying but what bible is she reading and she's serving in leadership for many years in church what bible are you reading that's my question what bible are you reading have you found god for yourself so that whatever somebody says you just say this does not make sense the word i'm telling you here should not be information to you it should be confirmation it should not be information but confirmation You know the disciples said when Christ talked to them on the road to a mouse they said didn't our hearts burn within us when he was talking to us didn't our hearts burn so let somebody talk you say yeah ali sema hivyo it made sense yes i've been reading i've been experiencing and it made sense to me what she said but let somebody say sometimes and you're like Mm-mm. 
Alisema, but maybe, maybe I don't know, but for me, that does not make sense because some of us can talk our own things. So teach your children to find God for themselves. If as a parent you silence your children, you cannot give your children a voice. You don't give them a voice at home to question, to challenge, to speak their mind. These children cannot question when they go anywhere. People who grew up in families kwenye wazazi walikuwa authoritarian, wale wazazi wananguruma kama simba, you cannot see anything. They become more vulnerable kuingia into cults. Because they put so much authority on a human being, whatever a human being is telling them, they will believe. Umeona wale watu wako kwa easy churches, fulani tu ministry, wakitembea kwa street, wanatandikia ule pastor carpet ya red. Si umeona misi semi ni nani? But umeona wametandika carpet ya red. Wengine umeona wanainama wanakanyagwa na preacher. Have you seen? There are people who, when the preacher is speaking, they kneel, he steps on them. Kuna kanisa kama hizo. Kuna kanisa niliona in another country, huyo speaker na urinate na watu wanakunywa. Because it's holy. I'm telling you the truth. I've seen. You know why those people are doing that? These people were never given a voice to question, to ask anything. Work on a child with trauma, they are wounded. So they believe every word that comes from the pulpit. You don't. You don't. This, I'm not Christ. So whatever I'm telling you, question, ask. Does that make sense to me? Because the same God who is speaking to me will speak to you. God is no respecter of persons. 